if I can bring some sort of peace, some sort of light into someone's life in one of the most difficult and darkest times of their life, then I've done my job as a music therapist and as a human being. Hi there, my name is Jerwin Manji, my pronouns are they, them, theirs, and I'm a music therapist. I chose music therapy because I wanted to combine my love for music with something that really fascinated me, which was psychology. In hospice care, and specifically the interventions that I choose to do with my patients, I'm asking them to be vulnerable. I'm asking them to open up about their lives. I'm asking them to share with me who they are as a person and everything that they've lived through. So me being a queer person, I take that same vulnerability and that same authenticness and apply what I want my patients to do and I take that into my own life. Growing up in a Roman Catholic Filipino traditional culture, I really didn't express my queer identity because I was taught and I learned through other folks that being queer was not acceptable in those cultures or it was looked down upon by different family members. I remember specifically one day I was at home um, at a sleepover with my siblings and my cousins and we were watching a Cinderella story with Hilary Duff and Chad Michael Murray and Chad Michael Murray walked on screen onto the scene and there was just something inside of me that was just like bubbling and I didn't know what it was at first until other movies where I had seen other male actors and I was like wait I think I'm attracted to men because my brothers and my cousins were all talking about the females, or they were talking about Hillary Duff specifically, and I was just like, she's cool, but she doesn't really do that for me. <laughs> I came out in high school, and one of the first people I came out to was my best friend, and we're still best friends to this day. And when I told her that I was gay, she just looked at me and she said, Jerwin, I know, like, it, it's not that much of a surprise. As much as I tried hiding my queer identity, it just came out because that's just who I am. And when I decided to tell my family, I told my mom and my dad both on the same day, and they were both very accepting, very loving. They didn't treat me any differently. In fact, they told me that they would love me no matter what. Now I know that when things get really difficult, I have my friends and my family that I can turn to. Um, but there was a period in my life where I forgot about that. Last year in 2019, I attempted suicide. And it was the darkest and toughest time in my life, but over the last year, I've, year and a half now really, I've realized that I have so many people in my life that I can turn to. My friends, my family, my therapist. Today, life couldn't be better. I've made so many strides emotionally, mentally, personally. I found that accepting and just showing my queerness has brought this joy and has brought this happiness in my life that I never thought could exist. In society, we are taught that boys are blue and girls are pink. Those are what everyone perceives them as, but I don't feel that someone should be confined to the color blue or the color pink. What if you want to be the color yellow? Gender is completely fluid. You don't have to stick to A or B. They're all different shapes, all different sizes. If you're feeling lost right now because you're not sure of what you identify as, know that you can Take your time. There's no set timeline of, oh my gosh, I'm turning this age, I need to know who I am. I feel that throughout your life, you explore different parts of you, you unlock different parts of yourself, um, and you can take the time to realize who you want to be and who you want to portray to the world. My hope is that if you're watching this video, 
and you feel a little lost right now, I want you to know that you are not alone. I want you to know that there is this beautiful, loving community out here just waiting for you, waiting to love and accept you for who you are. I'm Jerwin Manji and I'm here to tell you that it gets better.